Hi, this is Tyler Baker, the pastor of Valiant Baptist Church in Jacksonville, Florida. So as Christians continue to oppose the sin of homosexuality during Pride Month, Supposed Christians are coming out of the woodwork and claiming that the New Testament affirms uh, homosexuality. And in fact, you can even be a homosexual and be a Christian. Really what these people are demonstrating is that they're not a Christian. They've never read the Bible at all. And in fact, they've never even read the New Testament. This is what the Apostle Peter, ordained by Jesus, he's one of the 12 disciples, said writing in the New Testament in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 6. It says that God, turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly. So the New Testament says that homosexuality is ungodly, that it's a sin, and also that the story of Sodom and Gomorrah was recorded to be an example to us today in the New Testament that God hasn't changed how he feels about homosexuality. Furthermore, again, a second time in the book of Jude in the New Testament, it says in verse 7, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, that's homosexuality, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So the story of Sodom and Gomorrah is actually recorded for us in the New Testament today to be an example of God's vengeance and his eternal fire that he's going to bring on that sin, the sin of homosexuality. He goes on in verse 8 and says, likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh. So the Bible says that homosexuality is a defiling of the flesh, that it's filthy, that it's ungodly, and that it's still a sin today in the New Testament. God bless you and have a good day.